Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to Project Hospital with me, where we've got to do some very drastic things today. Very drastic things. Um, basically, the hospital is not cutting it, is it? <laughs> Unfortunately. We are spending far too much money on wages. And... Frankly, we are not getting enough back from um, our patients and stuff. We're not making enough profit. Um, so, got to figure out what we're going to do. Got someone on nights in I'm thinking and this is just purely me thinking um, we may have to you've got anesthesiology um, you're fired I'm sorry William You are fired. You cost too much money. Um, I'm also going to see if we can get rid of... Uh, we're not doing any surgery for the time being. I'm going to dismiss you as well. We've only got interns then on nights. Uh, who's the cheapest? You're the cheapest. I'm going to bring you on to days. I feel that's going to work better. You're quite expensive, unfortunately. I don't know whether that's a good thing or not. Uh, and we've got you. We'll, we'll leave it like that. And we'll set it running. And we'll see what happens. see if we make some money today we've got less staff if not the next step in my master plan to try and save our souls will be to fire everyone <laughs> sell all this lot all the hospitalization stuff sell it all back get rid of it and instead open another clinic one of these Either general medicine, um, or for, probably orthopedics, I think, would be a good one because we have got x ray and they can come in here and go to orthopedics because we just need to get 40 patients through the door. That's what we need, and I don't have the money currently to do it. Otherwise, I would have opened orthopedics now. So let's see, we've trapped one patient. I mean, our doctors are pretty skilled. I mean, we have got another intern, haven't we? Who are you? You're the one. You're an attending doctor who specializes in acute medicine. Trying to get up her um, bits and bobs here. But ideally, if we can get through today and not lose money, I might be able to just let the game tick along then for a couple of days. And, you know, 
generate some income for us and then hopefully I can get as I say we want to get into like orthopedics I think is the gonna be the thing so we're gonna need an orthopedic office we're gonna need an orthopedic waiting room I'm going to set them to high. We want to be diagnosing our patients 100% certain, don't we? Now, it's going to be harder for us to get through the patients in bed because we've only got a couple of nurses now in the daytime to do the patient transfers and stuff, and we've only got the one doctor to do the checking up on people. Um, diagnosing people and dishing out the treatments but that should enable us to get what we want I mean I've, I've skinned down the number of janitors uh, we shouldn't have too much trouble in that regard I get rid of the, uh, the woman who works in here Why aren't you working today? They're down here apparently somewhere. And where you unless you've been all the way round here to a common room, which seems a bit crazy. So we normally make a bit of money as the day goes on. Usually then, once we've paid the wages, we lose all the money that we make. Let's get to, like, the end of the, the financial day. See how many patients we've trekked. If I can get to the stage where we're not actually losing money each day, at the end of each day, then that would be great. Because <laughs> like I say, we can slowly then tick the days by till I've got enough money in the bank that I can... buy another clinic. Complicated diagnosis, Lisa Taylor. Weight loss and a headache. Uh, I'm going to let the doctor try. I assume she'll take stool sample, maybe. Maybe draw some bloods. Or send us straight to the hospitalisation ward. Hmm. She's probably got tapeworm, I would think. Five patients left untreated. Okay. That's not good. We're not even treating all the patients now. That's our worst day yet on the job. Why are we sending her for an x-ray? I don't know. Oh, minus 1,373. Uh, okay. Uh, we're not cutting it. I'll wait for exarinase and uh, for a barium swallow, yeah. Oh. 
we didn't treat all the patients. Let's try and treat as many as we can. We'll let it run for one more day. We'll run to the end of day 17 and see where we're at. Because <clears throat> we've obviously we've made, made a, quite an impact now. On um, everything. Um, especially wages. Uh, if not... Pretty much that whole section over there is getting bulldozed. <laughs> Starting with... Um, Starting with that, I think. That makes me a bit of cash. I've yet to see us use one of these. That made us a bit of money. Damn, son. Thirty-two thousand. Okay. All those in rooms could be our um our ticket out of this mess. patient treated you got anybody kicking about or is that everybody gone looks to be everybody trapped right right Let's have a look then. Um, what are we going to go for? Orthopedics, wasn't it, I said? We're going to need build mode. Uh, prefer. Now we're going to need a waiting room. Let's give them a waiting room. Uh, we're going to need an orthopedic office. The door. Doors on that side. We'll bring it back. So we level there. We'll get some foundations quickly before we burn through all the cash. You know what? Better there for now. Well, let's put some walls up because <clears throat> we're going to need to see what we're doing. That's only a temporary wall. It's only a temporary wall. Right, let's go for some nice orthopedic-y coloured 
stuff and things. Uh. Maybe blue with a nice panel. Right, we're gonna need to delete that wall then. Waiting room, let's do this again. Do, 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 do. Corridor, let's do this again. We've got all the stuff in there, so we just actually need a doctor. That's all we're going to need. Fast learner, hard worker, people person, fast learner. Do we go for someone good, paying a lot of money, or do we go for someone uh, Barbara Allen? Right, we've got orthopedics we can unlock. That one. So hopefully we'll get a few more patients in the door. Today, 50, well we're up to 52 now. So we've gained an extra 20 patients. We may possibly have saved this save. I appreciate the fact we might not be able to treat all 52 patients. Um, there is something else we're going to need, though. Isn't there? Uh... And the Q machine. Just so patients know what number they are. And we've got a doctor. She's not the best. Well, she's actually pretty good for an uh, orthopedic doctor. Got patients rocking in. Our reception staff might have to do a bit more triaging. Let's see. Let's see if we can get out of the pickle that we're in. Everybody here should be serving everybody. We may be able to expand hospitalization up again in emergency department to meet kind of like demands. <laughs> because we've got a lot of people coming in. Is our new doctor doing anything? She's not currently doing anything. Quite idle at the minute. She, now she's filling her needs. We'll see. We'll see if this pays off. It might not. We really need to hit that treat 40 patients malarkey. That's what we need. We need to hit that. We need that cash injection. We need that 80 gram boost. 
that would get us out of the hole that we're in. I'm not going to do hospitalization. Hospitalization at any, any level is bad. <laughs> I've started to discover we may bring in general medicine. As a next port of call. What did I have there? I oh, remember. I built, built something there, didn't I? Because I've got wooden panels and stuff. Um... I can't remember. Was it another nurse's station? On call nurse's station or something? And maybe an on call doctor as well, wasn't it? I think I had too many doctors and nurses. Oh, hello. Our new lady's treating someone. She, you got broken ribs, pal. Fresh and wraps. Greeting. Excellent. Things are working. Things are working slowly, but they're working. Getting through some patience now. We've got a lot of people in emergency care, though. Uh, do I want to sign, uh, get another clinic doctor, perhaps? There's got a lot of people in the waiting room now. Oh, some blood on the floor. That's not good. We'll see. We'll get try and get through, like I said, get through to the end of the day. If we hit that 80 grand cash boost from this lady, from the patience that this lady has brung us, then we'll... Um, We're only at 25 patients now, and it's 3 o'clock. We're probably going to be sending some patients home untreated. You should really get out there and get diagnosing these peoples. Right, we've got waiting room. Cervical spondylotis. Okay, you're giving us some treatment. That's nice. She's a Taurus. She doesn't speak the lingo. So it doesn't really matter. $630. Okay. That's what we're talking about. Making the bank. Okay, we just need to get a few more patients sent down to her now then. In an ideal world scenario. We are definitely not going to get through all these patients in two hours. Although suddenly we've hit 32. <clears throat> We're dinging that bell. Um, we can't treat you. A simple fracture of the radius. Can't we just put you in a plaster cast? We'll get rid of you. Otherwise, you're going to block up our whole entire organization. <clears throat> so we'll get the ambulance in. Do 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 We'll get you transported somewhere else. We haven't got hospitalization at gen uh, orthopedics because <gasps> orthopedics is terrible. Right, eight patients have gone um, on tr nine. We only have to cure four though. 
or two and we get our 80 grand cash injection. Let's cure some people. 14 have gone home untreated. Oh, this is... mm. Not so good, I'll be honest. But we only have to, come on, we only have to cure two patients. Two patients, please. Before midnight, come on. Stop going off, doctor, come back. Come back, doc, treat our patients. Come on, please, doc. I'm counting on, I'm counting on you, sir. I'm counting on you. Get in there. Treat some patients. No, you're going home. That's terrible news. Oh, this is terrible. Come on, we only have to treat two people. Where's our doctor? Um, we'll send you away and we'll send you away that's all I can really do come on there's got to be at least two people in here I can treat yes one one more come on one more is all I need Come on, Doc. Come on. This is it. This is it. Come on. I thought that was going to be the big, you've done it, you've cured 80 patients. Please cure someone. Yes! Treat 40 patients, 80,000 government grant. We've nailed it. We're up to 91 grand for the day, right. I think... We go back here. Build mode, prefabs, we get a... I'll have that one. That was six for six. Uh, let's try and remove the double door. That works for me. It'll be day shift, don't we? Oh. Are we going to go for a, an intern? You're going to be cheaper. I'm gonna stick with the cheap people. I know that sounds terrible, doesn't it? Sticking with cheap people. Uh, do I need another doctor now on daytime? Uh, I'll hire you. You've got good diagnosis skills. Right, let's have a look. We could... We could build... 
Wow. Uh, what do we need? Was it for all for peace? Was it a sonography room? Tons of staff though, that's the only problem. Um we haven't really got much in the way of decorations for the the visit the waiting people. Um bridge that out there. Apparently not, is the que answer to that question, right. Uh, let's wall up, go for the one with the wooden panels. there that makes sense if you can just kind of see what I'm doing um, we'll go back to placing walls we'll now remove that one and that one put the outside one back on like so Right, orthopedics is there. Let's extend the corridor. Right, we do need to get rid of that wall. We're going to need some floor as well, aren't we? We go for nice blue panels. An orthopedics. I think we'll go for nice blue panels. Right, we're going to need some visual decorations. Nice, nice information poster on the human skull. Maybe even tennis elbow. We get a fair bit of that, don't we? Yeah, have some reading. <laughs> have a cactus or three. Right. Um, so we've hired an extra doctor for the day shift in the emergency room department. So we should find, we should find when we go straight on till morning. That we might be able to treat a few more patients. Over 400 bucks. Pretty cool that we get a few patients treated at night. Gives us a head start on the day. That was 500 quid, that one. Wow. Possibly all the patients. So we start off with three. Tempted to bulldoze that tree. 
I go for uh, prefabs? If I go back to orthopedics, we go for is it a six by six? Or was it eight by six? Eight by six, wasn't it? It won't let me build that because. department got a bit we've got to put it on that one right uh, do we put it right up or do we leave a gap or do we put it there put it there I'm even tempted to throw in some windows you know those with blinds Just so they can look out the window. But, yeah, you don't really want to be looking into the sat slab, do you? You can have your window there then. And you can have a window there. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Shall we hire another doctor then? Who's going to be good? You're good at surgery, but you've got bad traits. Have a look. Tending. We'll hire Mary Wilson. That's right, Mary Wilson is hired. So treat 50 patients per day build and hire we're going to get more cash for treat 50 patients we get 100 grand if we treat 50 patients okay if we built the sonography unit we're going to get a government grant of 20 grand this is all working in our favor now so yeah what i've learned now oh, that was right that was intensive care wasn't it all this lot this was our intensive care unit up here remember now <laughs> Yeah, don't build intensive care, and I probably would say, when you get the opportunity to un when you want to unlock hospitalisation, don't build hospitalisation. Build clinics. Build clinics for all these. Get the patient count. Get the money rolling in. I would say is the big deal that you want. And there's something else I want to do as well quickly. So let's take these walls down. Um, back into build mode. Right, uh, you know what I'm going to do, don't you? You know what's coming. That and that. Uh, we're going to delete that wall there. Move that wall there. Move that bit of wall there. Uh, Bit of panelling, uh, some flooring, nice wooden laminate. This is just going to be a a corridor, uh, a transit route. That matches. All right, we're gonna get rid of all that lot then. If I go put the walls up, so I don't necessarily know if I'm gonna build off of that. So, 
wall, wall dealies. Like so. Might put some windows in actually. Try and make things look a bit brighter in the interim. I could put some more posters and stuff up on the wall there, couldn't I? Uh, decorate. Have an information board, maybe. Info poster. Poster about the skull. We've got one of them. Tennis elbow. They're all right for the time being. Right. Oh, we need to do decorate the outer out walls. Why does that look naff? <laughs> Dodged a bullet there, didn't we? <coughs> Our hospital was looking naff else. Right. You've got the wrong colour on the outside of your um, dealie, doctor, clinic, person. But it does enable patients to get around a bit more. Right, we've still got room. I like CT scanners and MRI, although admittedly all them posters are going to go. Right, so we've got to get to 50 treated patients. It's going to be an ask. Radiology room. I'm just going to take a, um, a guess at what's wrong with you. <laughs> I know that's probably not the correct way to diagnose and treat patients. Um, we do need more M MR MRSI, MRSI rooms. <laughs> MRSI. <laughs> you're walking around the long... See, you're going the good way now. You're not weaving in and out of all our... Um, Emergency patients. How's our doctor, new doctor doing? Dr. Margaret Cole. It's hopefully treating people with the utmost care and respect. I appreciate the fact that the emergency floor is not brilliant anymore. And I just realised, Margaret, um... You're going to level up, and you're going to learn and develop and become a useful member of my team. You really should have a bookcase. Also, if I'm on the right department. We'll move that one to there. We can then move the eye chart. Which should enable us. Right, 
yeah, you've got a bookcase now. You can learn. In between treating patients, you can learn things about how to be a better doctor. Probably made that dead straight along there. That might have been a bit easier. Or I could take that dead straight along there. Or I could bring that wall down here. I'm just pleased that I've managed to rescue the save at this point. Okay. We're treating patients. Again, when making money, okay, I had to fire quite a lot of staff, which is never a good thing. I can slowly hire them back, though. That's not going to be an issue. And we've still got hospitalisation. We've got a couple of trauma units, but thankfully, we haven't had to traumatise anybody yet. Definitely haven't had to traumatize anybody. Like I say, we're at 22 patients at one o'clock. If we work a little bit faster, we could maybe hit 50. It's going to be touch and go, though. Depends on the certainty of the diagnoses. Depends what I've got him set to. Is he just doing hospitalization stuff? No, he's doing clinic stuff as well. Okay. You two, get up, get in there, get them people out of bed. That's money, that's money laying there. You understand? The fact that we're waiting for guaranteed 100% diagnosis, absolute certainty in their illnesses, um, means we're probably effect effectively a little slower at getting through the patients. Um, then we ought to be. Now we're at three o'clock, so we've got just under three hours before the clinic shorts to treat a bunch of people. Okay, we've got a couple of people sitting in our um, orthopedic wards. Six hundred and twenty-five dollars. That's good. I wish someone had told me just open clinics, open clinics, and treat patients. A, that gets more people through the door. B, you got a chance of actually making money. We've actually got money considering this the financial situation we were in, where we was tanking every single day, more or less, because of the wages. We've managed to rectify it. Thirty-eight patients. Come on, we need that final push. This has to be a big hour, people. Come on. Probably not going to hit the magic number. We're Ten short at this point in time. All our doctors seem to have buggered off. They've gone for tea break. Not good. Not happy. Some of these patients are not happy that they weren't seen. Right. We've got 41, 42 patients trapped. One, two, three. Looks like we've got four in bed. Yeah, we've only got four in bed, which means we're only going to get... Maximum 47. Oh, 47. Patients. <coughs> Actually, we've got a lot of patients sitting on the loo. By the looks of it. We may. 
we may, we may hit 50 patients. It's going to be tough ask because obviously doctor, the two doctors go home in a minute. And then we start having the big queue for um, radiology. I don't think they're going to treat any more before they knock off. No, doesn't look like it. So it's down to... Down to the night shift. Of which we only have one doctor, don't we? One doctor and one nurse. You're an intern. But you're going to be cheap. Probably not a bad thing. Nursing intern. Robert Young, you're hired, Robert. There we go. Two more. You see, interns aren't very expensive, and they can do the boring tasks like wheeling patients up and down corridors. <laughs> you know. Well, let's try and treat some people. Come on, Doc. Counting on you. Get into that room and treat these people. That would be really annoying if you was a patient in that ward. And every time she walks in, the lights, the lights go on and off. Come on, Docs. We need the doctors. Why aren't they treating the patients? Oh. 10 o'clock, we ain't treat anybody yet. Running out of x-ray machines. You are, why are you mucking about in there? You're oh, performing all the, st the stats and stuff. Honestly, I haven't seen a doctor go in that room for over an hour. Come on, this is woeful. 200. That was good. We, we killed somebody or something. Got an hour. Mm. <laughs> Come on, Doc. Where are the doctors? Why aren't they treating these people? What are they doing? Why are you sat there? You're just playing solitaire now. You're taking the mick. You are absolutely taking the mick out of me. Ain't you? You are mugging me off. Let's get a water dispenser. Three sixty. Too late now. Days rolled over. Not brilliant. Right, what was it? Sonography unit, wasn't it? Build a sonography unit, and we get a twenty thousand grant for a sonography unit. But then we've got to hire a member of staff. And our intern, he's done nothing. He's going to watch TV now. Hmm. 
long wait for x-ray. I've got 57 grand. I could potentially build a radiology room. We've got some blood there, look. Somebody's had an accident. Sonography for 20 grand. There or do I go there? I think we go there. We need someone who's got USG skills, don't we? They're going to need USG, which unfortunately, as much good as some of you are, None of you have the required skill for me. You do, but you have two bad skills, which is the fact that you're a pig and you have, you have depression. Honestly. Oh, you're good. You're a good boss. You're a hard worker, but you have an issue. What is your issue? You're a germaphobe. You know what? I'm going to hire you just for the 20 grand, and we will probably replace you at a later date. <coughs> we'll probably replace you down the road. And I'm really disappointed with our two doctors. He's done nothing. It's just waiting for an x-ray, that's the problem. I bet everybody's waiting for x-rays, that's why they're not being tret. Got a bit of a backup then, haven't we? We could do with radiology. In here somewhere. That may be a thing. Putting in our own radiology x-ray. She's good, but she's not very quick. That's the only thing. That's a uh, rest. We need to take breaks. Yeah, that could be another expansion opportunity. Put in our own radiology. It would speed things up as well, dramatically, if we had another x ray. in like there That is actually not bad. Um, I'm going to want the stripy red wall. There's a wall there. It's the wrong texture wall, I think. Let's see. Right, we are missing a person.
stress levels, improve satisfaction of supervised colleagues every morning. All needs are reduced much slower. Yeah, well, you've only got one percent in radiology, though. Which is not good when you think about it. You're pretty decent. I'm going to hire you. And we're going to switch back to nights. You're only going to do hospitalized patients. And I would like like an intern really. Um description. Although you're pretty good, hard worker, and a people person, so you are hired. And again, you're only going to do hospitalised patients. Right, let's see if that makes a difference. We ain't got the long wait time now for x-rays and stuff. That could be quite useful. Bucks. So we've tra managed to treat four pa patients overnight. Like I say, we really do need for our, our day doctors to up their game. The fact we've got sonography now is good. The fact that they spilled blood everywhere may be not so good. But anyway, we've, we've managed to fix our problems, our issues. So thank you everybody for watching this video. I will be back with some more Project Hospital content very soon. If you would please consider leaving a like on the video, that would be great, that would really help me out. Again, any questions, comments, suggestions, feedback, anything at all, feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. And if you're not already doing so, smash that subscribe button.